Hello guys and welcome back in this new tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how to add support for PS3 GTA 4 RPF archives in OpenIV and to do this you'll need a specific version of OpenIV, you'll need version 3.2 with the config files I've provided and also a tool to block the program from accessing the internet and auto-updating itself. So the first thing you want to do is open folder firewall blocker, give it admin rights and select the folder where you have the OpenIV setup. So in my case, the desktop, and I'm going to block it from, the, uh, from accessing the internet. So once you have blocked the setup, you can just open it and install it like normal, accept the terms of agreement. And you'll want to select create desktop icon because we will need it for later click continue and here it will say prepare for download but it's actually installing from the local setup so now that we have the shortcut we can right click on it and select open file location so an explorer window will open up with the installation folder of OpenAV and here we want to copy right up here in the address bar the location of this directory and paste it inside folder firewall block it and block these two so confirm we can now close folder firewall blocker and see if openv starts correctly without asking us to update so uh, as you can see it starts up just fine so we can now proceed and uh, open the uh, archive where you have the config files and still inside the OpenAV installation folder go uh, here in games IV and copy these two XML files overwrite common.xml and now you can open OpenAV and see if you have a PS3 option write down Grand Theft Auto so we can just select it and now uh, you will want to select the folder where you have your GTA 4 installation. But in my case, I'm just going to use a test folder with the ps3.rpf and uh, the gta4.exe file, which is needed to find the decryption keys. So now I select test and continue. And as you can see, we now have the ps3.rpf archive and we can open it and browse the files and OpenAV will also recognize the file type. So as you can see, .ctd files will be recognized correctly as texture dictionaries resource version 7. So this means that we can also rebuild a modified archive and save RAM on our PS3. So I'm going to test it right now and see if it retains the resource version, which is what we need for the archive to work with uh, the GTA 4 engine. So we can enable edit mode and uh, defragment the file or rebuild it. So uh, as you can see, it's rebuilding the archive. We want to reopen it and we have all our archive rebuilt and with all the modified textures we didn't modify any but if you mo had modified any texture it will have saved it and rebuilt correctly the archive one last thing uh, you don't want to double click on these files because OpenAV will try to open them with the default PC editor and that will crash the the program so what you want to do is just extract them and eventually open them with the console texture editor as I have shown in a previous video that you can find in the description below so this was really straightforward and uh, thank you for supporting my channel leave a like if you like this video or leave a dislike if this if you didn't find this useful and uh, thank you for watching see you guys in the next video